Hello, in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and do some pretty cool green screen effects using Blender. Now, if you followed along the previous video and managed to create something that looks like this, congrats. But what if you want to take it up a notch and create something that looks a little bit more amazing? So for this tutorial, we're going to try and make a bunch of chickens explode. Now, don't worry, we're not going to actually make the chickens explode. The chickens are alive and well, I, I think. I don't, I don't know how old this footage is. But um, we're going to do it all through special effects and green screening. So for this video, we want to go ahead and head over to videvo.net and search for raindrops in super slow motion. So we're just going to go ahead and use this as our backdrop. And uh, just to credit the author, this is by Beachfront. So I'm going to go ahead and use this footage. And while we're there, go ahead and download this one over here, hand gestures on green screen. Uh, this is by author Augustin Fioriti. We're also going to go ahead and download Chicken on Green Screen. So this is by Sanat Media Studio. And finally, we're going to go ahead and download a Bomb Explosion on Green, from also from Sanat Media Studio. Now, in a previous tutorial, I've showed how to create explosions within Blender itself. So if you want to create your own explosions, uh, I'd recommend you go ahead and follow this tutorial. Um, but the only difference is you'd want to render it on a green background. Cool. We want to go over and head over to Blender and we'll go over to the compositing workspace. Go ahead and tick use nodes, remove that initial node and just let's do the initial setup. So shift A to add an output viewer node. So this will be the output and we want to also add in our input nodes. So add input movie clip. And let's just start off with the rainforest. So let's head over to that folder and input the rainforest. And let's duplicate this by hitting Shift D uh, and changing this out to the. Well, let's start off with the hand. So I think it's this one over here. Yep, that's the hand. Uh, and then we'll go Shift D, duplicate that, and let's bring in the uh, chickens. And finally, let's duplicate once more, Shift D, and bring in the explosion. Okay, great. Now let's go to Shift A, uh, distort scale. Let's change this to render size and plug that in over here. I guess I should have done that this one earlier as well. So Shift D three more times, Shift D, Shift D, and connect this image to this image. Same over here and also over here. And we're going to start off by combining these two images as a green screen. So just like the previous tutorial, just go Shift A, Color, Mix. Uh, put this at the bottom and this at the top. I think that's the, that's the order. Let me just double check. Let's go to Composite. Oh, sorry, let's go to View. Uh, I'll go to the View and just hit Fit. Yeah, so that's on top. So what we want to do now is we want to key out uh, this green stuff. So for that, we're going to go ahead and just uh, click, the, sorry, click out and then click over here. Add in a keying node over here. So Shift A, Matte Keying Node, and let's drop it in there. Uh, click this color and select the eyedropper and then choose that color, the green color. To remove that and then go ahead straight away and select this mat and put it in the factor and that should remove it uh, i can't see any real issues with this one so i think maybe we'll add in a bit of post blur pre blur turn down dilate erode click this one over here to make it look smoother and it integrates quite well just let's just do a bit of clip black just in case a little bit slips through but I think for the most part, that looks good. So the effect I'm going with this one is I want to make the hand go up, touch, and the chickens will just magically appear. And then finally, it will just explode. So nothing really special there. It's not the best story in the world, but uh, for 10 seconds of thinking, uh, that's the best I could come up with. So another thing that I might do is I might just position this hand to point somewhere over here. So let's just reposition where this finger points. So let's just... Uh, Oops, select this one and move it out of the way. 
Okay, so once you've done that, what I might do is I'll go ahead and go Shift A, Distort, Transform, uh, put it over here, and then move it maybe 50 on the X. Okay, if you do that, you also have to transform this one as well. So let's go Shift A and do the same thing over here. Okay, that's a little bit annoying, but anyways, uh, if I go 100 and 100 as well for the mat, that should be right. And then on the Y, maybe minus 100 and maybe minus 100 here as well. Oh uh, no, no, even lower than that maybe. Minus 250 by minus 250. Maybe even more than that. Minus 350 by minus 350. Yeah, somewhere over there. Over here. Okay, so over here we're going to start to make the chicken appear. So let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. Let's uh, select this one, Shift D to duplicate and put it over here. And mix that one with this one. So we have our chickens there, and then we'll just do the same thing. Bring in the keying. Uh, let's go ahead and drop it in there. And oh, well, actually, I don't need to do anything with the green. It's already done for me. So that's looking good. But I might put the the hand in front of the chicken actually. So the way to do that is just simply by changing this around. So the ordering of it is a little bit wrong. So let's. Uh, Disconnect that one, bring this one down, connect this one to this one instead, and this one to this one. Uh, since we changed the ordering of that one, we need to uh, bring this one over here. And remove uh, this transform and this transform, and just put the image in over here. By the way, you don't need to, to use this uh, matte thing if you're using uh, uh, this alpha one over here, by the way. Finally, with our explosion, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, yet again mix that one as well. So select this one, Shift D, drop that in there, connect this one over here. And the explosion needs to be in front of everything. So let's go ahead and select this one, Shift D, put it in there. And great. We will yet again use another transform node. So let's put image over here, image over here. Uh, let's scale this one by B3. And let's move it up on the X. Okay, so we have all our footage in place now. The next thing we have to do now is really just to control the ordering of when they appear. So in this case, we want to uh, control when the explosion will happen. So over here, it's, it's way too soon. We want to wait for a little bit and then explode it. So perhaps on frame 70. Yeah, so we want the explosion to start maybe here. So we can't do that using this existing movie clip uh, functionality. But we can do it using Shift A input image. So if I change from a movie clip to an image and then open that same explosion clip, we now have a few more options. We can choose the start frame for this one and also the total number of frames. So if I say start frame of this one will be 70, and the total number of frames, let's just say 100. So, from, so the entire thing will go to frame 170. Then I put this one over here. We now have the animation, well, we now have the explosion starting from frame 70. Cool. We should see our chickens being exploded. I don't know if that looks uh, violent or if just hilarious. But anyways, it doesn't look that realistic. Obviously, you need to do a lot more work to try to integrate this into the scenery a little better. But I mean, you get the idea. So the next thing, of course, if we want to control the timing of when the chickens will start to appear as well, so again, we'll just remove this one. We will not use a movie clip, but we will use an image sequence. So let's go ahead and change this out to chicken. Uh, and let's just think about when we want our chicken to come into the scene. 
So over here, we should not have much difference. We want our chicken to come into the scene on frame 30 we found, because that's when the finger is pointing over there. So let's go to start frame as 30. And the frames can be, let's say, 100 as well. Actually, the frames should not be 100. Actually, once the explosion happens, so let's say on frame, yeah, let's say on frame 120, that's when we want our chickens to go away. So 120 minus 30, let's just say a total of 90 frames. So after this, we don't want our chickens. Okay, so for the hand, we don't need to do anything because the hand just comes in and then goes out of the scene. There's no other kind of uh, effects that I need to worry about. Even though we control the timing of when the video clip will start, if we start before that, so like frame 22, the chicken is there, the explosion, which is meant to start at frame 70, is still there, it's just stuck on frame 1. So we want to make it disappear completely. So let's start off with the chicken. Before frame 30, it should not be there. So on frame 29, let's say, we just want to move the factor of this one, so where we have the chicken and the background mixing, we want to change the factor of this one to 0, so that we only have uh, just the backdrop. And then hover your mouse over where it says the factor 0, and then hit I. Alternatively, you can go ahead and um, so control Z. You can right click and go insert keyframe. Keyframes are basically used for animation. So over here, you want, like if I go back, the chickens won't appear, but you want to make it appear after frame 30. So over here on frame 30, you go one, sorry, one. I'll say one. No, it's not changing. I don't know if it's a bug that I'm having in. Blender uh, 2.82, but for some reason it doesn't let me drag all the way to 1, which is a little strange. So the way I do it is by going to the graph editor. So go ahead and change from dope sheet editor, which you should have here by default, to graph editor. Then go ahead and select this point on frame 30. Okay, and then once you select that, go G, Y, 1. So that should immediately make it disappear over here and make it immediately appear over here. Same thing with the explosion. So let's go ahead where the explosion is. I believe that's over here, the final one. So let's go ahead and uh, on frame 70 is where we want to make this appear. So let's go to frame 70. Okay, so over here, let's go to, oh, let's go to frame 69, go to zero to make the explosion disappear. Let's hit I to add a keyframe. Next frame, let's hope that this one works. No, so we need to uh, add a keyframe by also hovering and hitting I. Go ahead and select that keyframe in the graph editor. G, Y, 1. So the explosion starts there. And that's it. This does start to get relatively complex if you get into the nitty and gritty of Blender. So I guess this is not really a fully beginner's tutorial in Blender, but nevertheless you can see the node set up for this. Okay, so we're controlling our timing using keyframes with these ones. We want our chickens to disappear after some time. So once our explosion comes, around frame 100, oh, I think we said frame 120 or something like that. Yeah, somewhere over here. Actually, let's make it a little less. Let's go to frame 110 will make our chicken disappear. So where the chicken is, that's over here. Again, we'll go ahead and add in a keyframe I, go to next frame I, uh, and go over here. So let's select this node over here. Okay, and select this one, the final one on frame 111. G, Y, minus 1 to go back to 0 and make our chicken disappear. Why is the hand over here? Oh, the hand com comes back. Oh, the hand actually comes back. So we may as well make this one uh, an image sequence type as well. Frame uh, 100 frames, but start frame is 1. And change this one to hand. And connect this one to this. 
Okay, so it, and we don't want to make it cyclic. Okay, so that's it. I think the that's the final node setup for our animation. Let's see if we can render that out and get a nice looking result. Okay, so the setup for this one, let's go ahead and uh, choose a directory to save this. I'll call this one maybe uh, exploding chicken meats. Let's go ahead and hit accept. This will be type ffmpeg video. Keep the default as is. I think that's fine. Matroska or mpeg4. I don't know, any of those would be fine. Um, in terms of the actual length, 240 maybe too long. I think the explosion is not even that long. So we'll kill it at frame let's say frame 150. Okay so we'll kill that one frame 150 and finally at the ending this is just a viewer node we need to make the composite node so this is what, what it will look like when we do a render. So if I just do a quick render right now you'll see that you won't see well I mean you can't tell over here but Generally speaking, we, we can't see all the chicken and the explosion and everything. So we need to connect our final result into the composite node as well. So we have all our input footages, the rainforest, the, uh, the chicken, the hand, and the explosion. We've done a bit of co uh, processing and green screening and all that stuff over here, playing around with the animation. And then we put the final result into these output nodes. So once you're happy with that, it's just a, now a case of going ahead and hitting render, render animation, and I'll come back and let you know how the final animation looks. Whoops, uh, I realized that the, the hand come, makes an entrance again. At this stage, maybe after frame 60 or so, I'll go ahead and kill uh, this one as well. So I'll go one, one on that one, next one has to be zero. Should can't be done, so hit I on that one anyway. Um, and then go ahead and select that node and go select that one, GY minus one. And let's save that. Okay, render animation. All right, so let's have a look at what the final scene looks like. Wow, that's amazing. I am expecting an Oscar award after this. But for half an hour's work, I think this is not too bad. Um, a lot can be improved, of course. Uh, you'd need to make the chicken uh, a lot more smaller if you want to make it engulfed in, in this ex uh, explosion. Also, you probably want to make some, you probably can do some other kind of effects as well. You can make uh, flying feathers or uh, dust particles or things like that. And finally, you can add some compositing effects to make it look cinematic, like, you know, adding color balance and color grading. Like once you have the final footage over here, just chuck in a, you can do some other effects, like throw in color balance. So color, color balance, like how they do it in movies and try to give it some kind of a, like a theme or something. So let's go to frame 77 and let's make it look a, a sort of dark and sinister -y. I don't know. So if you, ha if you know how to make it look all cinematic and stuff, by playing with these color, color wheels and stuff, then I strongly suggest you, you know, you do that. So that can make it look even better. So yeah, that's how you make chickens explode using Blender and its node system.